Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandela here. Here is the old apple, the old beautiful apple. One of my favorite fruits every single night I have an apple. I like to dip it in almond butter, sometimes a little peanut butter, but there's no doubt that apples are the healthiest fruits on the planet. Now, apples can help many, many conditions. Uh, we're talking about uh, from neurological issues to cardiovascular problems, uh, when it comes to stroke, heart attacks, cholesterol, this actually lowers the low density lipid proteins, it lowers triglycerides. When it comes to your heart, this can prevent clogging within the arteries, preventing that extra fat. This is loaded with uh, antioxidants, vitamin C, it has potassium in there. It actually can help blood pressure, believe it or not. But there's one important thing I want to mention that uh, many people out there uh, that get a little nervous about, particularly those people that are like sugar crazy, uh, the American Diabetic Association recommends apples. Apples can reverse type 2 diabetes, help reverse. It definitely helps reverse insulin resistance. Uh, and I'll, th there's are lots of reasons why. And one of the main reasons is that pectin, the fiber within the apple, uh, just does wonders. Remember, these are prebiotics. And these prebiotics feed the probiotics. In order to have a healthy system, uh, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your gallbladder, your spleen, everything working together, you have to have a healthy flora. What feeds the probiotics are the prebiotics, which is the fiber, the pectin, uh, again, with other fruits and vegetables can do as well, but apples really have something magical about them. Uh, even uh, when it looks, when we look at cancer, colon cancer, uh, there are so many studies out there, colon, colorectal cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer, uh, helping obesity, helping prevent uh, excessive weight gain because apples keep you satiated. It slows the absorption uh, of glucose into the cells. It keeps the spiking of insulin from the pancreas and it actually slows digestion from the stomach into the small intestine. And therefore you're gonna stay more satiated. You're not gonna overeat. You're not gonna crave excessive sugars. It has tons of nutrition in here. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but uh, be phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, C, folate, choline, beta carotene, lutein, zeaxanthin, uh, vitamin K, there's different amounts, and I'm not really here trying to push one amount, but just to let you know, anything when it comes to, when it comes down, I don't care, let me rephrase this, when it comes to nutrients, a perfect fruit, uh, apples are definitely top of the list. Uh, there are different kinds of apples out there, uh, Granny Smith, Fuji, I like Fuji, Red Delicious, Macintosh, uh, this is Gala, you have Golden Delicious, and there's many other ones. Now, so let me just mention something that people uh, are, are a little weary about. Let me cut this apple right now. Uh, see if I can do this. Uh, all right. All right. Let's see this. Let's see, let me see if I'm on the screen here. Can you guys see this right here? All right. All right. You see this right here. These are the old uh, little pits, these little seeds in the apples. And the reason why I cut this all right, everyone has seen the inside of an apple. Uh, the reason why I cut this is because there's not a lot of seeds in here. I mean, look, you got a few seeds here, a few seeds here. Uh, you got the stem, you got the other end of it, the, the other end here, which is not no problem, it's green. But I just want you to look at this because very few of us really take the time out to look what's in the inside. Not a lot of seeds. So why do I want to show you that? Because people are worried about eating the pits of the apple. Um, obviously, we when we get smoothies, they don't take the pits out. They put the pits in there. How many smoothies have you eaten with, with apples in there? And I've eaten almost, I can't tell you, thousands, thousands. So let's just go into a little bit about um, the aspect of this, what we call this cyanide poison that they talk about. Um, so the question here is, are apples toxic? There's a, a compound in there called amygdalin, and this has the toxic effect. But wait, don't go anywhere yet. Uh, amygdalin is, is actually the, the part of the seed's chemical defense. It's harmless when the seed's intact. It has a coating around it. So when enzymes within the body try to get to that seed, it can't get through it unless it's crushed or, or actually bitten into, or it's actually broken the actual seed, but if the seed is swallowed whole, I'm just letting you know, a lot of people swallow them by accident, there's no harm. It's just like a fiber. It's just going to make its way back out of your out of your, your, your rectal area, uh, out of the anus. So 
when the issue comes down to the toxic effect, I just want to let you know how this works. What happens is when it's chewed, the amygdalin degrades into hydrogen cyanide. Obviously, it's poison only in very, very high doses. I'm talking about very high doses. But this is the big question. Is it toxic if you eat uh, a couple apples and chew it? Absolutely not. Now, here's, here's the answer right here. You would have to consume about 83 to 500 apple seeds to develop any type of acute cyanide poison. Uh, that's a lot of seeds. That's a lot of apples. There's no way in the world I've ever heard of anyone in my life worrying, uh, worrying eating that many seeds because you're not going to cut 100 apples, take the seeds out and chew it. It's just never going to happen. So the answer is for the amount of seeds you're getting, there is no toxicity. You have to have a lot of toxicity of seeds to really cause those problems. Now, other fruits, um, let me just see if I can find the exact ones earlier. Uh, there, I know there are other fruits, I believe like cherries and other types of fruits that have similar, here you go, apricots, your almonds, your peaches, your cherries, as well as apples. It's the same type of amygdalin that exists, but here's the tip, here's the tip. Who's gonna take a cherry seed and start chewing on it? Who's going who's to put cherry seeds in your blender or big plums or peach seeds or, or, or big apricot seeds? You see, the apples have the littlest, smallest seeds out of all the fruits. So therefore, people will take a bite of it. And I've seen people panic. Oh, I just chewed the seed. But there's other research. Here's the good news, guys. Remember, there's always two sides of the sword, right? The good news is that they've shown that this particular compound in here, can fight cancer. And there's other studies that I came across earlier tonight. It's known to help increase the probiotic, the flora. So the, it helps make this helps the flor, helps flourish the probiotics in the intestine that actually builds your immune system. So I don't want people to worry about it. It's not going to hurt you. Remember, this can reverse insulin resistance. This lowers blood pressure, it's good for cardiovascular, prevents strokes, helps prevent heart attacks, helps prevent clogging the arteries, lowers the bad cholesterol. It flourishes in the as, as a prebiotic. It helps build and grow those probiotics. Let me tell you, there's nothing like the apple. Now, one last thing I want to say before I finish. Apple juice is not the same as the apple because apple juice takes away the fiber. It's going to increase insulin. It's going to increase insulin, increase glucose. It's going to get in the cells quick. It can spike insulin. And that can lead to that high fructose is heavy on the liver. And that can lead to insulin resistance as well as prediabetes if you continue to drink those fruit juices. And the best way to eat apples is obviously by itself or take the apple and blend it together. I love the fruit. There's one special thing about apples out of any other type of blending vegetables and fruits is that all vegetables, mostly all vegetables can be blended with apples because you'll notice that most fruits should not be blended with vegetables. Vegetables usually stay with vegetables, but when it comes to apples, apples seem to be all fruits and vegetables best friend. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.